Are you gonna be in love with me? I want you to be in love with me. Come with me, and you'll be in love with pure imagination. Ciao, good day. Hola, hola. Hello, Princess Ilka here for you. Once more, Feng Shui or Feng Shui. I heard it's named Feng Shui, but you can say Feng Shui or you can say whatever you want. It is an art and a science. So it is said. No need to get philosophical about it right now. Yet it is very interesting because everything about Feng Shui is about order. And this is not to exhibit to you what is feng shui as in, as in school, in a escuelita, no. I'm just pointing out a few things. For example, feng shui, well, analyzes the space in which we live, right? That's a start. It looks up the spaces, the homes, mainly. And no, the regular feng shui looks up the spaces where we live. There's another one, which is the feng shui of the death, who looks at burial places, which I think is a bunch of baloney. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not into graves to begin with, so. I would say FTS. <laughs> Fuck that shit. So feng shui looks at the houses. <laughs> No, I'm I'm taking feng shui absolutely seriously. What I do not take seriously is dummies who tell you not now. Are uh, you gonna be Celine Dion fan if you take on the right side of your house, and you're gonna be be meeting Justin Bieber if you're gonna go to the left on the upper left of your house? No, that's stupid. And all these rainbow color advertisements about this and that is stupid. At least that's how I feel about it. But uh, there's a very serious aspect. Mainly, it's the f forms and shapes you can see and then there's something else which is the magnetism about stuff but it is all about order and in the forms of the shapes what it comes down to is to pinpoint the elements in harmony and that means not only that you put every room in harmony that you put all your stuff in harmony and namely also you can't have a room in your house which is unused and cluttered and expect to have a happy and peaceful life. Yeah, I have the experience. I lived in that place, La Foundation, and there was a room and it was empty. Well, there were like stuff in it, a little bit. And I left it there and then I began to be interested in Feng Shui. And I noticed that that bugged me. So I throw this stuff out, but it took a while, because at first I thought it wasn't important. Now, right now, for the first time, I'm making a step to your psyche. Same thing. If you have stuff, unresolved issues, it's like a room with clutter. And doesn't allow you to think straight, to be clear-minded. In Feng Shui, there is nobody who comes with a magic wand and makes your house nice and clean. No, somebody can give you advice and can tell you how the stuff is working out. Mainly what can be seen and mainly what is not seen, but is measured. The magnetism is measured. Oh, I'm a very serious Feng Shui scholar. No, I'm actually a Feng Shui consultant, that too. Yeah, I went through the Feng Shui bullshit first. Yeah, I called it Feng Shui Chop Sui. Like a little bit of this and that. I studied all of that. And then I became a serious Feng Shui consultant. I did the other thing, which is so much more complicated. I think no one on earth has done it. Because it's so complicated. So I know where to distinguish. But mainly what a consultant will tell you is what is an imbalance in your room and mainly half of it you can see. I'm just gonna put it this way. Half of it you can see 
But of course it needs to be balanced also with the magnetic field. What is that? It's actually pretty mathematical. There is no voodoo involved. I am not a voodoo person. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a very logical minded down to earth person, although I'm also very intuitive. But I think now I have also grounds to um, not to believe but to trust in how great my intuition had been working all along. There is proof now. But I'm not like, a, I'm not a weirdo, not a delusion derailed person. <laughs> And I don't need any attachments to anything. I always look at things with interest and curiosity. And even when I had measured it all mathematically, I always wondered, is that even happening? And again and again, I found myself in awe of what I just actually could establish as what was happening in those places actually totally applied to the people who lived there. But here in this video, the only thing I wanted to tell you is that to keep your house in order and your, your brains in order and your little room in order and your place you are in order because not only that I say so and that I think it's right it's also a very basic of feng shui yeah good stuff guys good stuff I had a lot of things to do today but you know what I did instead I took a nap it was a very good nap that email, I took a nap Zoom call, I took a nap What about your lunch plan, I took a nap House chores, I took a nap Home workout, I took a nap Bath time, I took a nap What about the eggies, I made time for that The end of this chorus, I took a nap Can you tell me please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am. 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 Cold cream soup tastes coco roco. Want me your wife, but she is. Let her long, long. You're all wrong. And let you